Hello, today again we are talking about the concept of diagonalization. So, before again going to the main concept of diagonalization, in previous two video we talk about the concept of similar matrices and we they found that two similar matrices have same eigenvalues but they may not have same eigenvector so before going to the further study about the concept of diagonalizations i want to make a few point clear that what we are doing over here we want to find a matrix which is in some ways similar to a diagonal matrix so that the diagonal entries of the diagonal matrix will be the eigenvalue of the square matrix so be careful about that yeah, not it is it is not true that each square matrix is similar to some diagonal matrix so we will go into the concepts for we will find uh, such matrix for which we will the have the concept of diagonalization so before going to the concept i want to revisit i want to revisit the concept of matrix multiplication so suppose we have a matrix a i just want to write that down suppose we have a square matrix a 2 by 2 square matrix a and we have the entry a11 a12 a21 a22 so we have a square matrix a and what we have we have again another matrix x or just x is is of the collections of the matrix is of the form x1 x2 this is again a 2 by 2 square matrix so x1 dash x2 dash what we are going to talk we talk about the multiplication of these two matrix so we are talking about a into x so what we have so here we have a11 a12 a21 a22 and let me write the bound the matrix x so x1 x2 x1 dash x2 dash so after multiplications we get so in this way uh, this uh, row and this row file will be multiplicated uh, we get after multiplication a11 x1 plus a12 x2 next uh, if i multiply this row with this uh, column we get a21 x1 plus a22 x2 and if i multiply with this column so we get what we get over here we get a11 x1 dash plus a12 x2 dash so here a12 x2 dash then a21 x1 dash plus a22 x2 dash and we have the matrix multiplication so after multiplication we get again a 2 by 2 matrix but i want to uh, just show you some uh, more thing about that suppose we are taking the column of this matrix so we are saying that x is the x1 is the column x1 and x2 and here this column we are taking x1 dash so we are taking x1 dash is the column x1 dash x2 dash in this way 
thus the matrix x can be written as we can write in this way so this is maybe a new thing to you x can be written as the column x1 x1 dash the matrix also can be written as in this way so x is x1 and x1 dash so x1 is this column x1 dash is this column so x is in this way we can write x in this way now what we going to do we going to multiply a with x1 so what we get so a into x1 a is the matrix a11 a12 a21 a22 so it's a 2 by 1 2 by 2 matrix and here we have a 2 so 2 by 2 matrix and here we have x1 x2 which is again a 2 by 1 matrix so we can multiply the matrix with the uh, we can multiply these two matrix so after multiplication you will clearly see that this will give a11 x1 plus a12 x2 and we get a21 x1 and a22 x2 so we get uh, again a 2 by 1 matrix but the very important and beautiful thing is that if you uh, look very observe very carefully if you observe very carefully you will find that this matrix this two one by two by one matrix is actually the first column of this matrix so this is the first column of this matrix you can clearly see that here we have a11 x1 plus a12 x2 and here we have a21 x1 plus a22 x2 so you find that over here a21 x1 plus a22 x2 so the matrix a x is the with the first column is the matrix a into x1 similarly if you find a x1 dash you will find this column so what we get after that so i just want to rewrite that all the things so actually what we get after that so let me erase this first so so for matrix multiplication so this may be a new thing to you so matrix multiplication a into x if x is with the with the column x1 and x1 dash then this equals to becomes a x1 into a x1 dash we can write in this way so a x x is a 2 by 2 matrix and a is a 2 by 2 matrix so x is a 2 by 2 matrix so here also it's a 2 by 2 matrix with a x1 is a 2 by 1 matrix x1 is a 2 uh, sorry uh, is a 2 by 1 matrix so x1 is the first column of that matrix so it is a 2 by 1 matrix so i just want to revisit that thing and a x1 dash is again a 2 by 1 matrix so this is our first column of the matrix and this is our second column of the matrix so we can write in this way matrix multiplication so why we write this why we do this all such things so here is the answer of your question so so remember these things first so suppose we have a matrix like this and, and then matrix multiplication with the first column we get this type of form with the second column we get this type of form so remember these things and we get the next result so here we get here i am giving you the answer of the questions why we are doing all such thing so here we go suppose we have a matrix a suppose we have a matrix a is a square matrix a is a square matrix 
so before going to again suppose we have a, a is an n by n matrix and if we have x with uh, a similar type of form that x1 x2 xn so it's again a n by n matrix with the column x1 x2 xn so ax again will can be written as ax1 a into x2 in this way a x n you can write also from any n by n matrix where x is again a n by n matrix with the column x1 is an n by 1 matrix so x1 is a n by 1 matrix and x2 is again a n by 1 matrix in this way so they are all matrix xn is again n by 1 matrix so we can write in this way so remember this thing so what we have suppose we have a is a square matrix we are talking about the matrix of 2 by 2 matrix so square 2 by 2 matrix square square matrix so it's a 2 by 2 square matrix and suppose it has two eigenvectors x1 is an eigenvector with respect to the eigenvalue lambda 1 so this is our equation 1 and also it has suppose it has another eigenvector uh, x2 with respect to eigenvalue uh, lambda 2 suppose we are taking in this way so with respect to the eigenvalue lambda 1 the matrix A has eigenvector x1 with respect to the eigenvalue lambda 2 <coughs> sorry with respect to the eigenvalue lambda 2 the matrix has A has the eigenvector x2 then suppose we write in this way x do we matrix write the matrix x with the first column x1 and second column x2 because we are talking about 2 by 2 matrix x1 is a 2 by 1 matrix so it gives us 2 by 2 matrix because x1 is a 2 by 1 matrix and x2 is another uh, 2 by 1 matrix so x is a 2 by 2 matrix so why 2 by 1 2 by 1 gives so 2 by 1 matrix means here we have some x1 and x2 x2 is a 2 by 1 matrix means here we have some x2 uh, suppose x1 dash and x2 dash so we get in this way a 2 by 2 matrix so let me erase this first suppose x is a 2 by 2 matrix then what we get if I multiply a with x then we get a x1 a x2 so we get in this way we discuss about that so now the value of x1 from equation 1 is lambda into x1 so we get lambda 1 x1 and from equation 2 we get lambda 2 x2 so this also can be written as so we can write is in this way so if i write in this way we get that x1 the matrix x1 and x2 can be written as uh, 2 by 2 because x1 and x2 is x which is a 2 by 2 matrix so we need a 2 by 2 matrix because here x is a 2 by 2 matrix so here we can write is as lambda 1 0 0 lambda 2 so we find a diagonal matrix so you can find easily that after multiplications it gives us lambda 1 x1 and lambda 2 x2 how because x1 into lambda 1 plus 0 into x2 is lambda 1 x1 Le x1 plus 0 so if i multiply let me uh, multiply this in this way x1 and x2 over here so here we have lambda 1 0 0 lambda 2 so suppose x1 is x1 is basically so x1 is x1 dash x2 dash sorry uh, let me x not x1 dash x2 dash so suppose x1 is let me write that x1 is suppose x1 and x2 x1 dash and x2 is x2 and x2 dash then we will find with 
if I multiply with lambda 1 0 0 lambda 2 so what we get we get x1 lambda 1 plus 0 x2 so x1 lambda 1 x1 lambda 1 plus 0 x2 and here we get x1 dash x1 dash lambda 1 so similarly here we get x2 so if I multiply x2 you would get x2 lambda 2 and x2 dash lambda 2 so basically we can write in this fashion that it gives us actually so this is the matrix lambda 1 x1 so first column is lambda 1 x1 and second column is lambda 2 x2 so you find lambda 2 x2 why just let me just repeat for you what is lambda 2 x2 is so lambda 2 x2 is our x2 and x2 dash so if I multiply with it we get lambda 2 x2 and lambda 2 x2 dash so I think you uh, understand why I write uh, why I am writing all lambda 2 x2 as basically they are the similar um, uh, they are the same not similar they are the same so let me erase this first so what we get in this way so suppose we have something like that so let me write that down so what we get so we get x x into a diagonal matrix lambda so we get x into a diagonal matrix lambda where lambda is the diagonal matrix lambda 1 0 0 lambda 2 so what we can now do now x is basically a 2 by 2 matrix suppose x is a square matrix so in some cases it will become a square matrix we will be talk about that so it's a square matrix if we have this eigenvector and this eigenvectors are linearly independent if they are x1 and x2 if so let me write that down if x1 x1 so x1 is a vector so x1 is a because x1 is a 2 by 1 matrix so it's a vector so it is a vector it is a vector of R2 similarly x2 similarly x2 is a vector of R2 so if the two vector x1 and x2 are linearly independent if these two vector are linearly independent if they are linearly independent in what we can say that the matrix formed by these two vector x1 x2 with determinant non-zero so with determinant non-zero so here x is that matrix so x is with a matrix which has determinant non-zero so x is an invertible matrix so because x is an invertible matrix when x1 and x2 are linearly independent otherwise we cannot say that they are x will be an invertible matrix so if x is an invertible matrix so what we can write we multiply x in by both sides of this equation so we get x inverse a x with x inverse x into lambda so we get lambda because x inverse x is the identity matrix so you can now see that so uh, matrix diagonal matrix is similar to the matrix A because we find an invertible matrix X which is X inverse A X equals to lambda so uh, let me recall that when two matrix are similar to each other so let me recall that so let me erase this part so here we go So let me erase all such parts so after that we get we will do some mathematics to get more understanding about this concept by taking some particular examples of matrices so what we have A is similar similar to a matrix to a matrix 
B if we find if there exists uh, an invertible invertible evil matrix P such that such that A it can be written as P inverse B P so similarly we can because we have seen that uh, if A is similar to the matrix B, B is also similar to the matrix A over here. So in this case, if I look over this case, so here we get lambda is equals to X inverse A X. So the matrix, so square matrix A A is similar to a diagonal matrix, diagonal matrix lambda with uh, matrix lambda with the eigenvalues of the matrix A with the entry lambda 1 0 0 lambda 2 where lambda 1 and lambda 2 where where lambda 1 and lambda 2 are eigenvalues 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 of the matrix A and with eigenvectors so to the find the diagonal matrix so we have to find the x first so what is x x is basically corresponding eigenvector so x is the x1 and x2 where x1 is the eigenvector of the matrix a with respect to the eigen so x1 is basically a x1 is lambda x1 so x1 is the eigenvector with respect to the eigenvalue lambda 1 and a x2 is eigenvector with respect to the eigenvalue x2 so in this way we find that a uh, square matrix we can find a uh, diagonal matrix which is similar to that square matrix so what we going to say now so here is the definition so we will look about this uh, by taking some particular examples and solve uh, that example so before that I want to give you the definition <coughs> sorry so here we go so let me write that down so in this way if you have any problem regarding this notes or sorry this video just comment me below I want to uh, just uh, looking for your answer uh, I am just looking for your comments do you really understand this or not if you do not understand I will just repeat that whole concept with some different manner so please please uh, just comment that below do you understand that or not so here we go so here is the definition so definition so a square matrix and an n by n matrix so n by n square matrix a is said to be is said to be diagonalizable is said to be diagonal Liable somewhere also you find Z A B L E so A C B L E or Z A B L E if A is similar to and similar to an N by N diagonal matrix. So a matrix is said to be diagonalizable when A is similar to if A is similar to an n by n diagonal matrix. That means if we have a matrix A, for that if we find a matrix P such that P inverse D P. So P inverse is similar to a diagonal matrix D. On that case, A is said to be diagonalizable. Then we will say that diagonalizable. 
so it's uh, from the definition it's clear that it's not always possible to find a matrix which is uh, which is always diagonalizable so there are some examples of matrix which is not diagonalizable there are some example of matrix which is diagonalizable so we will talk about the matrix which is diagonalizable in my next video so remember that so in this video what you have talk about we talk about how to multiply a matrix uh, in some different manner and from the matrix we will see that actually f when for a square matrix we find basically a methods to get a diagonalizable to find a diagonal matrix so we find so in this video we talk about a matrix A if we, we the matrix has eigenvalue lambda 1 x1 and matrix with lambda 2 x2 so if A is a 2 by 2 matrix instead of 2 by 2 matrix if suppose A is a 3 by 3 matrix and suppose we have 3 different eigen distinct eigen values lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 and with 3 eigen vectors x1 x2 x3 then what we do we write x which is basically with first column of the matrix is x1 so first column is 3 by 1 so x2 and third column is x3 so x1 is clearly is uh, x1 x2 x3 all are 3 by 1 matrix so it's a 3 by 1 x2 is 3 by 1 x3 is also 3 by 1 matrix so all are 3 by 1 matrix in this way we get x is a 3 by 3 matrix so we multi can multiply 2 3 by 3 matrix after multiplication we get x from there we get x1 x2 and x3 and if i put the value of x1 from over here so what we get we get lambda 1 x1 lambda 2 x2 we get lambda 3 x3 so next what we do we can write in this way so let me write that down so this is a procedure to find the diagonal matrix so we will take it one by one so here we get ax equals to the matrix with x1 x2 x3 and can be written as lambda 1 0 0 0 lambda 2 0 0 0 lambda 3 so we can do in this way so after that we get the matrix x with a diagonal matrix lambda lambda is the diagonal matrix with the diagonal entries lambda 1 0 0 0 lambda 2 0 0 0 lambda 3 with diagonal entries lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 so after that if we find that x is invertible matrix when the x1 x2 x3 are linearly independent to each other so we get x inverse ax with uh, similar to a diagonal matrix so the matrix a is similar to a diagonal matrix so if we very uh, if you carefully observe this pattern so we will find such a matrix is diagonalizable when we basically find that three vector x1 x2 x3 are linearly independent then we can find the inverse the x inverse and we have in this way so basically a matrix is diagonalizable if we correspond if we have the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors are linearly independent then we can uh, say that the matrix is diagonalizable so in next video we will explicitly in more details we will talk about the concept of diagonalizability by taking uh, example one by one and solve the example so thank you again for watching but uh, do not forget to comment the below uh, so that we can understand each other that you understand the whole things if do not if you do not comment then i will not be able to understand do you understand actually or not so please comment below and again thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoy the video so goodbye